Alright guys, we are in the extremely sunny Tildesley today and uh, we're about to have a little trip inside a building that is currently being renovated which dates back to the late 1700s and since uh, 1945 it's been uh, known as a little cafe called Frank's see the old cafe sign up there look at that and underneath it you can actually see an old ghost sign under the lime street street sign i don't know what that says but that is proper old wow but yeah as you can see we've uh, we've come as it is currently under renovation so uh, i'm about to meet a chap called ian who is uh, gonna let us inside and see what issue we can find regardless of the fact that the old place has been uh, been ripped out but if you look just up there you can see the old chippy sign there I mean just look at that fan there guys my lord that in itself looks like it's been there since the 40s Wow, see the old leaded window up top as well. Yeah, uh, Mike, who had it last, uh, his dad was the station master at the Victoria right. train station. Oh, and yeah, I heard a story about that. Yeah. The seating was from Victoria, wasn't then, yeah, it? Yeah, when they refurbished the train station. Uh, he, he got all the seating for there right. in here. All right. So these are the studs that are left, on, unfortunately. Cool. But as they took them out, all the bottom was rotted. So, yeah. uh, so they, unfortunately, they can't be reused. Mm. Right, as you can see, guys, I've met up with Ian from Fort Tildesley. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Um, and pretty much he's letting us in for a little peek around. Um, I heard these tiles here were actually from pre 50s. Earlier, so, yeah. do you reckon? Yeah, I've had a conservation architects look at them, they're really struggling to date, but they think these motifs are from the 20s. Wow, and I have had a little go here at, at cleaning this area up. These tiles, even though they've, they're a little bit crazed, yeah, still in really good they are, condition. They are, aren't they? For some reason, these have been painted over, but the flaky paint just comes off. Yeah, no, they uh, they'll look good as new. I mean, what is this place going to be after? I don't know, we've still not got a tent right, okay. yet. Uh, 
but I, I don't think anyone's going to take that out. Mm -hmm. What they might do is cover it up, but I don't think they're going to remove All it. All right. And as you can see on the other wall, uh, this, the, the, the freeze oh, wow, is over yeah. there as well, painted over. But uh, been been it's, broken it's a little bit, hasn't it? Could expose that beam there. That's yeah. Clearly Shh, broken let's look at that. Yeah, but if you look at that, guys, I mean, we're talking. That is. Uh, wow that's truly original that isn't it yeah. i mean this place originally before the cafes before the, the what was it M melia's yeah. distribution center it was actually this building dates back to the 1700s it wasn't does, it yeah and the landlord the current landlord has got all the documents of the original deeds going back. has he right yeah incredible I'll I'm have to try and have a there. word with him so I can put some of them up on my page you know yeah I'll put you in touch i'm there. noticing this here is that an old bread mixer yeah, it is. It's an old, yeah. Okay. I clocked one of these in uh, Manchester in a in an old abandoned asylum in Manchester. Yeah. Um, pretty much the same as that, and stuff like that. The people who are watching love to see it. But yeah, I'll I'll let you know, guys. Pretty much, um, the place is as we've stated. It's being renovated, but I know that uh, you would have wanted to have a little peek inside to see what's going on because this uh, place, I mean, the last owners, Mike and Robbie, they owned it for 35 years. So uh, you just imagine how many hangovers they've cured in this gaff. In that time, it is incredible. I've noticed this old fireplace here, mate. That is... Uh, that range, yeah. yeah. That's got to be original. That's not new, is it? Just have a look at that, guys. I mean, I don't even know the layout because I never, I never actually came in here. But I'm assuming you would have come in, and that side would have been that the was diner. The yeah. The, uh, the, range, the cooking range is still here. Right. Here. Yeah, I can see the top of it there. All that railway seating. All the way down here. The place was a activity. Yeah. Three oh, I can imagine it, mate. I can imagine it. It was open till late as well, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. You had a late license. Get a kebab. Oh, why? Or a haggis. Yeah, I've heard. I've heard a story about the haggis actually. Yeah. Because Robbie was from uh, Bonnie Scotland, Scotland, wasn't she? Yeah, she yeah. Ha! No way, man. Yeah. Then you could have a fight or a fuck, whichever you want. Yeah. <laughs> Standard Tilsley night out. Not wrong with that, mate. <laughs> Just look at that, guys. That's lit. That's got to be. Um... What you reckon, man? That's eighteen. Early 1800s, early 1900s. There's no question, is there? Just look at that, guys. Yeah, and apparently the stuff on the outside that I thought was dating back to the 70s, in fact, dates back to uh, to the 50s. Well, when was it? It became Frank's 1945, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah. yeah. You check with uh, check with Mike on the history of it. It's all written up. Wow, look at the stairs though, it looks... You can actually tell just looking through there. I mean, would this have been accessible to the public? No, I don't think so. Right, this was, this if you look... Store. This was one of three Shh, staircases. It's proper Victorian enclosed, it is, I mean, isn't it, it, you know? You take a one staircase yeah. out, it was just as wide as my shoulders. That is incredible. Yeah, look at yeah, that. You can see the old window there. there too. That is awesome, that is. So for anyone who used to frequent this gaff and have a good old full English, We'll be out there. Look at that. Oh, wow. That is a proper little Victorian uh, ginnel, if you will. Courtyard. We had, yeah, courtyard. We had a great big debate on Facebook the other day with regards to what ginnels and uh, alleys were. Depends where you're from. Yeah. <laughs> from Moston, it's a ginnel. Wow, you can look. Oh, wow. Lots yeah, of tank there yeah. for some reason, but we don't know why. That's clearly an old original feature right but behind you is actually the oldest part of the building this was either a stable block or something or a scullery wow because of all the drainage that's in yeah it. yeah i can see and it the stone floor if you look down there guys oh wow and it's got an upstairs bit but i've never been up it you mean up these ladders yeah do you mind if i have a peek go up there up pop? Have you risk assessed it have you seen the places I've been in, mate? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm. Uh, I've done 140 odd gaffs now, and the only only injury I've ever had is a scratch off a fawn, literally. Right. Never been. Uh, never had any trouble or anything, you know. So these are uh, a little bit wonky. I'm not too. Uh, they're not going to hold me, but hopefully <laughs> I can find something to just stand on a bit and hold the camera up. 
because that looks proper old school up there, you know. Look at that, guys. I knew the place were old, but I didn't realise we were going to be uncovering little sections like this. Get my, oh, my hand in there. Stand on that. Oh, there we go. So I don't know what you can make out up there, guys. Oh, I can just about see the screen a little bit, but I'm teetering on the edge of my tiptoes. Oh wow, it really does look old up there, you know. I'd love to have a look. We'll see if we can find some ladders. Yeah, we'll see if there's any ladders, guys. Ugh. Sorry, pal. Was that yours? Yeah, it's, the, it's just the case. But yeah, I've been up here, bell towers. I've been deep underground. Everywhere, mate, as you probably know. If you look there, that's been a, that's a new addition there, it isn't is, it? Yeah, so, there are two little industrial units. Up it's, the it still has there. that little uh, Victorian -y vibe, you know, mm. those seedy little ginnel type things. But so this here, would this would there would there have been a wall around this place back in the day? Well, or? it'd have been open to the back, with straight the to the street. Yeah, with lovely views over to the uh, the transmitter at Winter Hill. Wow, uh, straight out the back of yeah. there. Just look at that. Because we're on a hill, aren't we? Here in Tilsley. Unreal. Even that little window there, you can just see the see the oldness of it. It's that. I don't know. You get that in the old terraced houses in Salford. We did a place called the Crescent Pub, yeah. and we could go under side under underneath it. There was like these little cold storage things where they used to hide all the meat and that, and it's mm. a similar thing, you know. Yeah. Still got cast iron. Wow. Uh, down pipes here. We're hoping to re replace them on the front. All right. And these are original uh, wooden. Uh, what they call them, gutters. Yeah, yeah. On the building now, it's plastic, but we're going to replace them with original quality timber ones. As quality. Part of the, uh, so tell them what you the actually street. do then, while we go down into this basement. Uh, right, so I, I'm running a heritage project in Tilsley. It's a high street regeneration project funded by Historic England. Yep. Uh, I've lived in Tilsley for over 30 years and watched the place deteriorate. So me and a friend of mine decided to get together, apply for some funding to do up some of the buildings on the high street. So we secured a hundred and, uh, sorry, 1.5 million from Historic England. And that was matched by the council with another one and a half million to do the town hall up at the other end of the high street. A lot of people don't realize that Tilsley is actually a conservation area. It's an old mine and a mill town on a hill mm -hmm. to the west of Manchester. And uh, with my skills as a, a bid writer and a funder, uh, I applied to Historic England, secured this funding, and we've got quite a lot of uh, building owners and tenants on the high street to buy into the programme, and we're going to be doing their shops up and try and revitalise the town as we come out of COVID. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this uh, this Frank's Chippy is just one of our projects. I mean, high streets are dying across the board, aren't they? You know, there's no question about it. So something like this is an extremely important thing. Yeah, and I think people, a lot of people are coming to realise it though as well, you know, everywhere you go now there's, there's shutters and whatnot. Buildings like this just getting demolished left, right and centre. Oh wow. Pick your room. You can really feel the cold down here as well, can't you? Wow, look at this guys. You can imagine the old uh, wine racks there in the Victorian days. Oh wow. This is uh, a proper little tunnel network. Look at that guys, you've got the old arch ceiling above there and everything. Incredible mate. You know, I, I know you said it was an old gaff, but I, I wasn't expecting, you know, this type of history. There's some of the oldest bits. Oh, this is wow. actually a tree that you brought down here. Mike will tell you about this. It's actually a tree, it's, it's roughly hewn and been placed in there to support the kitchen above, which we'll have a look at yeah. shortly. But what we've also got here, if you can recognise it, this beam going yep. all the way across here, this metal beam, is actually a trolley bus track from the high street. No way. So when they were taking the the uh, the tracking out for the for the trolley buses, Mike nicked one and brought it down there to help hold up the ceiling. Quality. You can, top, you can feel the groove wow. where the wheels of the trolley yeah, bus yeah. went. Unreal. Yeah. 
So it's it's been, I don't know, I reckon that bit's original. Gotta be, hasn't it? But it's just been added to over the years with whatever Mike could get, a, you know, get all over the So TV pretty so much, guys, when you come past Frank's Cafe, his kitchen is held up by an actual tree. <laughs> So if you've ever come in and it's a little bit wobbly, that wasn't the hangover. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at that one there, that is so cool. Wow, I wonder what this would have been used for back in the day then. They must have been well, stored in needs down there and stuff. According to Mike, this has been bricked open more and more recently. Do you know what, I was thinking that. And it used to go down to uh, a pub at the, on the corner of the one where right. it's Tilsley. Yeah, because the shop used to be like separate uh, compartments, yeah. didn't it? Like. And they also talk about this being a mortuary at some point. Wow. Well, you never know, do you? Never know. Have a look at this one here. Yeah. This is incredible, this one. Do you know, I'm so glad you've brought me here because I wasn't expecting... I was expecting just an empty cafe and that were pretty much it, you know. Yeah. Like, no disrespect, but you don't yeah. know what to expect, do you? But no, this you is don't. incredible, this. Oh, wow, look at that, guys. Yeah, so the builders are working in this area too, the bottom left hand corner, right hand corner where you can yep. see that brickwork. That's where they're dropping the step where you into the building Look so people there. who use wheelchairs can get in. Right, brilliant. So that's just so that even though incredible. it looks like we're just putting a shop front on, there's all this stuff going yeah, on yeah. behind the scenes that people I mean you're see. actually restoring the original shop front though, aren't yeah, you? You know, yeah. as it was. Yeah. So when you come down the Tildesley High Street soon, guys, instead of it looking a shit old, pardon my French, you're gonna start seeing little bits of it. Come back to life as they originally was which i think is awesome because what i do the amount of places i see disappear to the demolition job and they put a load of faceless you know the, you've you've seen them and you even in manchester as the skylines creeping in faceless mm. lifeless Not buildings, buildings yeah, yeah and you know this is incredible uh, to be honest this is one of the best buildings i've been in you know for the oh no like you know they did just like these little archways and i just wasn't yeah. expecting it you know i love stuff like this so yeah and i think a lot of people are going to really appreciate getting to see behind the scenes mate to be honest with you these doors i mean you could imagine coming down here when the when the blitz was going on man you know it's a good spot good spot for hiding Incredible. There we go. Incredible. I've just noticed that. Well, I didn't even show you them doors down there, guys. Just look at that. They truly are original. And I don't know how much uh, the, the view distorts the scale. I mean, how tall are you? About six foot? Six one. Six one. This door's yeah. So, I mean, I'm 5'11, so it's even a bit of a squeeze for me in these little. Little unity bits, you know. I bet you've, uh, as you're chipping away, there's all sorts of stuff to uncover. Well, like you said, in the front door, well, guys, in fact, I'm just wishing over here. Can you see from in here? Let's have a look quick. Are these the tiles Mike put in then? I'm not sure. Been in a long time. If you look into the main front door here, guys, where we were before this. Well, there's some tiles like these, and apparently there is an original. Is it like one of those mosaic things? Yeah, it's black and white mosaic. Yeah, hidden uh, away uh, under there. Uh, that says Melia's. So Unreal. To re reveal that and restore it. Yeah, that's incredible, that mate. And if you look up there, you can see that tile work from before. But if you look here, we've still got the old uh, chippy cooker. Unreal. Was that Mike said or what? Yeah, it's too heavy to move. So was he literally the last person here or did someone move last in? Last person who traded, yeah. I think he shut about five years ago now. Wow. Open briefly for a few weeks. Yeah, I reckon a lot of people who are watching this video, mate, are going to be uh, going to be made up. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, I didn't realise it was proper tyre work like that. So it's been painted over, hasn't it? Yeah, it's the same as the same as the other side, which wow. just been painted over. But they've had to destroy it to, to reveal this beam. Oh, it looks like it's all been set alight at some point. What's all this? Yeah, that's it. It has a small fire at some point. Wow. Hey, I tell you what, I bet there's things in here that, that you know, little trinkets or something that yeah. are just knocking about and whatnot. And 
and Mike used to live upstairs who brought his kids up upstairs. Right, all right. I think he had two daughters. This is a massive open space. This. All right, okay. They put this beam in, but the floor upstairs flexes. Oh, does it? Yeah. So his kids were playing about upstairs <laughs> and they were dancing. He says, no, if you dance, you've got to keep your feet on yeah. the floor while you're dancing. <laughs> like I do, like a dad dance. But then when they went up We've up, all got our own little dad dance, mate. Nobody wants to see mine. But when they went to Butlins on the holidays, the kids got the dance floor at Butlins. Yeah. And they started dancing like they were. Yeah. No, 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 you can jump around as much as you like now. The kids were still stuck. People there are sat down sport. eating a fry up and dust yeah. falling in their egg. I'd like I say, Mike could tell you loads of stories about this place. Like yeah, you'll have, you'll have to get me on to him, mate. Yeah. Come and have a look at the bathroom. Think this is where you used to oh, treat wow. the staff after work. Old original fireplace, eh? Really? Wow, do you know, even though it's it's been around and it only shut a few years ago, it still feels like I'm in a proper old building. I'm getting them vibes, you know. Not scary vibes, just no. just old building vibes, you yeah. know. I mean, this was clearly the back of the building and this has all been happy done. Oh, wow, yeah. And so these were open to the public, these back No, then. no, oh, right, right, okay. special, it? this is where the magic happened. Right, oh my lord, he's got himself a little jacuzzi. <laughs> Go on, Mike. <laughs> oh, I did a gaff once up in uh, Black Rod, and it was a chap called Malcolm who owned it, and there were a jacuzzi in his gaff, yeah. And we actually found a photograph of him with three women, bubbled up in jacuzzi, the same jacuzzi, it was unreal. All there in same gaff, mate. Should I fill it up? Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe that. That is so awesome. <laughs> so you've come for your come for your fry up. Hey up. And while you're having your fry up, guys, Mike's in back with about seven women in jacuzzi. <laughs> no, I don't think he will like that. Nice little chill spot though. Look at that, you've got a proper original fire there. Oh wow, yeah. And there we have. An old school safe as well. And then this would have been part of it as well. Yeah, this was a separate shop, but it's been opened up right, into okay. Frank's. And this is going to be our office for the Has for, until, uh, until the project finishes. All right. Again, there's another staircase to your right here that's been taken out. Right, okay. Oh, it's yeah. The wall. Oh, yeah, you can see it there, actually. Yeah. And that's where right. accessible toilets go in and here. So can you still get upstairs? Or is yeah, it in a, all central right. Central staircase, there's a new one going in the back. I mean, just look at this, guys. Literally, if you look at the boards above us, you can literally... Well, to be honest, now that it's all been ripped out, you can smell the history, can't you? Incredible. It truly is. Fireplace from upstairs, you still see it. Stone fireplace. Oh, can you? Oh, Being wow, yeah. Bits of the so, again, don't go dancing upstairs. Unreal. Well, that'll come through. <laughs> I can't believe the place is held up by a tree, mate. <laughs> How long do you reckon it's going to take you to get this finished? Between the tram track, which is supposed to be finished by the end of September. Right, okay. Yeah, Trinity are uh, the construction company here. Yeah. They've got the team guys here. Well, so people can just waltz in here then and have a chat with you or whatever, no, or is it no, private? No, like By, by invitation. Like right, so is it? Okay. Not, yeah, yeah, no, that's sound, that's sound. But it's probably well, we cool what doing, you're doing, mate, you know. We are doing hand hat tours for people. All right. So we'll no, I meant like, uh, I meant like when your shop's open. Oh, yeah, when the shop's open. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, what I was thinking. Just call in for a brew. Yeah. We'll tell them about the project and where we're up to. Well, uh, there's a small anteroom straight ahead of you there. Right. Uh, where there was a looking staircase. I mean, even this is looking a little bit precarious up above us. Like yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> but it is safe. We've got permission to be here. Wow. We don't oh, anything. I've been in work. I've been across. I've seated on two inch floor beams, you know, in the third floor of mills and whatnot, you know, so. Toilets to the left, staircase to the right. Oh, wow, yeah. Now. So these were the old public lavatories, yeah. were they? I've got to have a look then for anyone who came for a slash back in the day. There you go, guys. Pretty much nothing's changed in here, has it? The old bathroom. The old gents. To be honest, mate, compared to some of the gaps I've uh, had a pint in and around Manchester and whatnot. This is the you know, water oh, tank. Oh, yeah, I've just Maybe thought it looks like outside. What do you reckon that were used for then? Well, there was four businesses in here originally before the wow, show was that explains up. it, doesn't it? So it must have been something to do with pumping yeah. water up mm. because we're on a hill. Oh, 
Again, this was a separate dwelling. Uh, this window was bricked up, but we're opening it up and replacing it with another uh, sliding sash window. So this was someone's, pretty much someone's living room back in the day. Yeah. And, and this is where the other staircase was. And if you come here, you can actually see how narrow it is. I've got a little. Wow. See how it yeah. Goes in. Look at that, guys. So pretty much my shoulders are going to switch get through that. Unreal. Yeah, you just can't get into it at all. That is cool. So this is just going to be opened up and then a, a standard staircase will be put in here. Brilliant. This is, uh, I mean, literally, I'm, I'm having, like, when I see a place like this, I, I imagine it back in the war days and whatnot with sirens going off. Yeah. And, you know, that's... Uh, God, that's got a bit 70s, hasn't it? <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's quite a little incredible, uh, incredible mooch, this. Do you know, I've been past here, past 20 years, and I've never been in, never mm. once been in, and I've been in plenty of cafes over the years, believe you me, but it always did catch my eye every time I came past, so I'm glad, so glad I've got to, you know, have a little mooch around. and. And I can actually show people though, you know. Because I was looking on the Facebook groups and a lot of people have uh, have good memories of this place, you know. So I know, I It's know. an important it's, thing. I, that's why I wanted to do it as well, because a lot of people have got fond memories of the place. This hasn't been the easiest project to do because of all the structural stuff yeah, involved. Yeah. But I think it's important for the town that we do something with this. It's important for every town that somebody's doing something like this. People tell me what I'm doing is really important. It is. I just enjoy it, you know, and I don't, I do see it like that, but I mean, it is the motivation as well, but it's, you know, it's, I don't know, it's the discovery. And, you know, some of the places I go, they really are dangerous. So I mm -hmm. think it, it kind of gives you that little kick, you know? Yes. <laughs> I'll tell you what yeah. I've also got as well. There's, there's hundreds of years of paint on this building. Yeah, I can imagine. And we've had a paint report done. So right. basically, we take a slip of paint Put it in uh, like white acrylic, yeah, and slice through it, and then like carbon date it through the years, all wow, the different like colours. Like a tree trunk. So I'm going to share that with you. Yeah, you can put it on the website. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Right. It was amazing just yeah. to go through the colours and oh, the years yeah. with it, it like the magical. rings of a tree. Yeah, yeah. just Unreal. like that, but for paint going <laughs> back 200 years. Crazy that. I seen people talking about these tiles, uh, saying that there's a, there's like a group of people who who will come and date them and all that business. And, yeah. Uh, they know a lot about just tiles, you know, in restoring tiles and that. I mean, are you going to try and keep that or what? Yeah, I mean, we uncovered them. This pe big piece of white board to your right hand yeah. side might nick to that. That's basically what you make the side of a caravan or an ambulance <laughs> out of. So he's a, it's, it's a resourceful. proper botched job, isn't it? Yeah, but, it. but not though, you know. You use that to cover the tiles <laughs> up and protect them. He sounds like a bit of a character, this mic, to be honest with you. So obviously, when we started the work, we, we pulled that board off and revealed all these tiles. Uh, Proper cool. So if somebody wants to come and, and, and have a look at them and, and try and date them or yeah, I'm sure tell the will. story behind them, then that would be wonderful and I'll make time for them to, oh, to, to have access to the building. Yeah, definitely. I'm sure someone will once they've seen this, pal. Just yeah. for a look. I wasn't expecting it to, to have... I mean, I knew it was old, but I didn't know so much history was actually in, exposed now, you know? So yeah. it's turned into a, a much more fulfilling watch for the people who were... Uh, we're gonna what we're gonna view it to be honest with you. Do you reckon we can have a peek upstairs then, you or is that out it. of? Yeah. If there's anything you don't want me to see, though, then. Got this lovely arched window behind you as you come up the stairs. Oh wow! Look at that, guys. Even in here, it's quite compact, isn't it? You know. Yeah, yeah it's been bashed around over the years. If you look at this, guys. Just look at that. Oh wow, and look at the view, that is incredible. Totally didn't I, all the way over to wow. the Newton Hill transmitter. Look at that guys. How cool is that? Right here, you know, in the in, in this in your sort of bustle of this high street and you've got that view. Unreal. That view really is unreal. Oh yeah, you can actually see the water tank out there. So if any of you guys know what that would have been used for, give us a shout. Because how many buildings were there originally? So it was four units, four separate units that all, all became one shop. Wow. Someone will know the use of that then, won't they? Yeah. So is this going to be someone's living quarters up here yeah. again or what? Is it? Right, all right. 
Oh wow, so it's all been. These windows can be replaced with traditional slide and sash windows. Unreal. Again. It's really nice space as well in it as well. Yeah. Proper smart. That's that one steel beam that you could see downstairs. Right, alright, alright. Cool. And that's gonna be more living space for people yeah. too down there. Let's have a little look out of this window here though onto High Street guys. How old is that pub next door? That's what I wanted to ask. Same age as this. It says it? that on the front. I think it's 1756. Unreal. So there That's you go. Just in case Mike ever had, you had, ever had your brew at this window in the morning, mate, before you went down to uh, open up shop. And you can have a little... Uh, reminisce. Yeah, a little reminisce. Proper cool. Yeah, proper smart mate. I think what you're doing is quite incredible to be honest with you and a lot of people are going to appreciate you for it. It doesn't feel that way. Wait till this video goes out then pal. It soon will, believe me. Well, you know, even the stuff you were talking about doing the transport thing, you know, there could be 20,000 people who watch this video, but the most important thing is that old lady down the road who's been sat there cold and alone, got a good lift and someone acknowledged her, yeah. you know? Spent so time with her. that's yeah. enough, innit? Yeah. But yeah, this guys, I think uh, I think that's it, the end of the tour. And uh, yeah, we'll transition outside and we'll finish the film. Cool. Nice one for inviting me, mate. I appreciate no it. No Absolute problem. pleasure. I've got some original sign writing outside, you might be able to just see. We'll have a little peek. Yeah, everybody you come oh no, I seen it at the beginning. Yeah, I did, I seen it. You just see it there yeah. under the cafe. Yeah, There's another know. piece at the front. Yeah. Some are orders, I got. Yeah, there. yeah. And some are WED. We call them ghost signs in Urban Exploration. Well, we've, got to try and re we've got to try and reveal them and, yeah. and save them. Oh, that'll be cool, mate. The best we can. I hope you can make it out up there guys. If there were a pair of lattice I'd have got up for you but yeah the old ghost signs. I think what I'm gonna do mate is a uh, transition to a top photograph I found. Seeing as all uh, Mike and Robbie with the with the most what's the word for it prolific or well-known owners yeah will uh, will transition and finish it and overlay it yeah, yeah. in that way so nice if i can well, yeah i will do i'll come back when it's finished mate it'll be cool but if i just show you there guys when this car pulls out let him out boss come on there we go if i show you i reckon around about there we can transition to one of the final photos that was ever took here so there we go that's mike and robbie so nice one for watching guys take it easy man peace